you are watching pr english shorthand dictations youtube channel this is english shorthand dictation number 386 and the dictation speed is 120 words per minute ready start honorable speaker sir for the last two days the issue of drought and drinking water is being deliberated upon honorable members have put forth their suggestions as well as the problems the government will positively act upon them water has been a concern ever since the beginning of this universe be it in india or abroad the situation is catastrophic as the underground water is being exploited indiscriminately the level of water has gone down in several states most of the dams have either dried up or there is little water left in them the government has launched the prime minister irrigation scheme which would be very beneficial for the farmers the prime minister has also called for launching the interlinking of rivers i would like to say that our department is working ceaselessly to materialize the dream of honorable prime minister and we intend to work expeditiously on this project we have identified 30 links out of which 14 relate to himalaya region and 16 are peninsular restoration renewal and desilting of old dams will be carried out we shall accept the suggestions forwarded by the state governments and we will also provide the necessary assistance in this regard the role and responsibilities of central government as well as state governments have been very clearly defined in the drought management manual the role of the central government is to monitor and review and provide additional funds to the state governments as per their requirements several agencies at the center and state level are engaged in monitoring declaration relief and mitigation of drought the money is already available with the states in state disaster relief fund in which 75% contribution comes from the center and 25% comes from the state government our government has also changed the norms for providing relief under national disaster response force now the compensation is provided when the loss of crop is in more than 1 hectare in case of death due to calamity the amount of compensation has been increased from rupees 1.5 lakh to rupees 4 lakhs by the present government the government has also declared that farmers will be provided full support price even for that crop whose quality has suffered due to calamity earlier an amount of rupees 4500 per hectare used to be provided for rain irrigated land and this government has increased that amount up to one and half times of that a significant increase has been made in the funds being provided under national disaster response force to the states the government also provides subsidy on seeds and it has been proposed that 50% more subsidy will be provided in respect of kharif crop as and when drought strikes this has been done with a view to provide providing seeds to the farmers easily sir as far as interest subvention is concerned the farmers are given loan at the rate of 7% out of which 3% subvention is borne by the government of india while the rest 4% by the farmers we have yet to make available water for every field despite 68 years of independence if we want to make the villages of india prosperous then watering of every field is important presently 89 manor projects have been pending for years and there is a target to complete 40 such projects in the next 2 years 
by working in a mission mode. The ministry is primarily looking after the micro irrigation schemes. Micro irrigation is being used in sugarcane cultivation in one of the states where up to 1.5 to 2 lakh hectares area is being irrigated under the micro irrigation. This is being mentioned to underline the fact that water is life and to save water is paramount as every member has mentioned. That is why Honorable Prime Minister has also been talking about per drop more crop and he has not only given slogan but has also accelerated the pace of implementation. I would like to request and urge all the members that we should collectively fight this crisis of drought and not only do we show a combat against it but also emerge victorious. India is a country with a vast potential for tourism development even though we have failed to fully exploit this potential. It is a matter of regret that we are able to bring less than 1% of the total world tourists into our country. Still, tourism contributes 7% to the GDP of the country and also provides direct and indirect employment to the tune of 12% of the employed force in the country. It is a dream of the Honorable Prime Minister that tourism should not only become a major foreign exchange earner for the country but should also become a vehicle for employment generation and women empowerment. India has also registered an increase in the ratio of foreign tourists arrivals to the world average in this regard. The Honorable Prime Minister has always given due importance to the potential of tourism in India. We are marching ahead. as true cultural ambassadors of India in order to propagate the cultural strengths of the country all across the world. Sometimes apprehensions are raised that India is not a clean and safe country. I think we should discard such notions through our deeds. We are of the firm opinion that ours is a safe and vast country with the might of 125 crore people behind us.